Yeah, so I basically just went over to Epcot just to get a drink. Um, I actually, no, I didn't do that. I, I was actually over there to get uh, some actual B-roll for another video that we're making coming up soon, which is DVC benefits and whether it's really worth it or not, and just try, try to give you guys a little bit more information on that. So that's actually why I went to Epcot, and then I came back because uh, I had some other stuff that I needed to do. Anyways, another thing I want to talk about is Star Wars The Void. Yeah, see, this was when we met up with Donald and Elliot for the first time over at Disney Springs. And at that same time, this was the second time that Taylor had run a memory card. All right, so first off, I'm going to apologize for video quality because I forgot the memory card for the camera. And if you didn't know, this is the second time I've done that. So we had a vlog on our phones and... Uh, yeah what's going on everyone we are in disney springs and we are doing the void which is star wars secrets of the empire i had to look at the uh at the this on the wall here So you're not allowed to take any cameras in here or do any recording, so we will see you guys afterwards. Now, obviously, uh, they wouldn't let us video anything that was inside once we actually got into the room where you put the, the harness on and there's a helmet and the goggles and all that other kind of stuff. Um, they wouldn't let us record any of that stuff just because of, you know, I don't know, for whatever reason. No video recording was allowed, but let me just tell you that it was an amazing experience this is an experience that if you have not done it yet this should definitely be on your radar to do the next time that you come down um, i think it's roughly about 30 dollars a person uh, again we didn't actually end up paying for that uh, we were very fortunate and we're extremely thankful to donald and elliot who offered it to us and they offered to pay for us and take us along so thank you again guys for that but it was a great time this is if you have never done virtual reality before this this is amazing and it actually might end up being a little bit maybe too intense for you you do have to sign a release form uh the release form is just so that you know they're obviously not held liable for uh if you have a panic attack or something like that it is awesome i'm not really sure how much to actually tell you guys because i don't really want to give it all away you feel like you are there um it's really cool how the suit works whenever you put the helmet on and you get into the room and you put the goggles down um, you can actually lift your arms up. You're not holding anything in your hands, but you can lift your arms up and you're, you know, when you move your arms around, you can see your arms. Uh, when you look around, you see the people who you are playing with. You're, you're all in the same room together and you can see them in, you know, in the, in the goggles. It's, it's really, really cool. Um, it's super sensory oriented. So if you see a wall, you can probably touch it. You can feel temperature. You actually feel it in your chest when you get shot or if you're attacked. Or injured in some form or fashion is really 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 cool and extremely immersive anyways here is what we thought about it after we got done in the experience it was an amazing experience so again excuse the video quality and probably the audio a little bit because again uh, we didn't have a memory card so we weren't shooting on this camera uh, we were shooting on our iPhones so I'm trying to clean it up and post a little bit as best I can but you understand I hope so Oh, really good. How was everybody's experience? <laughs> it was amazing. 
Very cool. Josh just missed it all. We've been standing here talking about it. The phone's been like down by his side. <laughs> I was just enjoying the conversation. It was nice. It was really good though. Yeah. yeah. Fully immersive. I hope they can hear me since we don't. What did you specifically people. like about it? That I got to shoot people. <laughs> That's it. Taylor I liked saw that the, she got I to shoot people. I saw those guns and I was like, ha ha ha. You were. You were like the first person to grab a gun. You guys all stood there and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> What about what about you guys? I think the immersion aspect of it, yeah, for sure. Like the fact that moving through the corridors and moving through transports and things was crazy. No, really realistic. Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, because you know you know you are in virtual yeah. reality. Yeah, however, in a room it felt somewhere. like well, I, I wasn't sure ever where all we went. Oh, me yeah. either. Like, I know. Clear. In the virtual part of it, I was like, is this a huge like labyrinth, or are we in the same room just walking in circles? I don't know. I know. I did see though, there was like, well you wouldn't have got it on video because you had to put the camera away, yeah. but when we were walking into that first room, like where, before we walked into the room to sit down, from like when we put our goggles on, you could see, the droid was right there. Did you guys see the droid in that room? There yeah, was a little yeah, room yeah. right there and there was a droid in there and that was the last room. That was one of like the last rooms we were in, was with the droid, because I was like, oh a droid, and I went and I reached for it and it was there and I was like, oh wait, that's the droid I saw at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. So, Anything? you could actually, you could touch stuff, you could smell stuff, feel the heat, you get, I think, oh yeah, feel you could feel the heat, oh my god. And I think we all agreed that it was, one, it was too short, yeah. and two, it could have been, you could have like another experience when you come back, that would be cool, Yeah, right? that would be cool. Like yeah. how Star Tours is different whenever you go on it. Right. Yeah, well, sure. except they keep putting the jacuzzi scene in there, but whatever. It's locked. Yeah. Impressed for the size of the space too, of how yeah. immersive yeah. it was because it, yeah. it's not that huge. No, right. the building is. Yeah, no, it's, it's like right. small. No. It, that's the thing. It must have been what, like four rooms. Yeah, something four, like that. Because there were multiple rooms. people going at the same time. Yeah. And you can do it in like a group of four. That's why we all did it together. Yeah. So, if you don't know, it's right. I had no idea. I had to look it up. It's between. What's this called? Once upon a toy and Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. It's right between there in that little building. Oh, that was fun.